us humans, especially Americans, are obsessed with quick fixes. And when it comes to achieving sustained weight loss and overall well-being, there are no shortcuts. Or are there? Let's talk about some new drugs. Hey everyone, welcome back to Ink Nutrition. My name is Jack, registered dietitian, and on this channel, we help translate the science of nutrition to help you improve your life. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So if you've been on TikTok recently, you've probably heard about this miracle drug called Ozempic or Wigovi. Ozempic is a medication that has been FDA approved for individuals with diabetes. Now it's active compound is called semaglutide, which acts as a GLP-1 receptor agonist, which really can improve the secretion and function of insulin, as well as act like an appetite suppressant, so it can send signals to the brain telling you that you're no longer hungry. So for people with diabetes, it can really help. It can even be life-changing. Now, we noticed this weight loss effect that it has, so people began to take it off-label. So I'm just going to jump straight into my concerns. The popularity of the drug for its unintended use, which is partly due to TikTok and certain claims from high profile people, has created this shortage and people who really need it are unable to get it. That's an issue. Now I worry people will view this miracle drug as a replacement to nutrition and exercise. And I hear quite a few people say that they can eat whatever they want while they're on it. Well, really the drug works mostly as an appetite suppressant. It can slow the digestion of food in the stomach. Uh, and so if you overeat while taking Ozempic, uh, then you could have a lot of digestive issues and problems. And speaking of side effects, there are quite a few with this. And I'm gonna sound like an infomercial for a second, but taking Ozempic can increase the risk for experiencing nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation, abdominal pain, headaches, fatigue, dizziness, gastric reflux. It can even increase the risk for acute pancreatitis, acute gallbladder disease, hypoglycemia, acute kidney injury, even thyroid cancer. Now I know there's always this like risk benefit analysis with medications. Uh, so just consult with your doctor, your physician, anytime you want to take something new. So Ozempic was approved right, by the FDA uh, for its safety and efficacy using subjects who were diabetic not people who are just overweight wanting to lean out. And now we have Wigovi on the market, right? Which uses the same compound, just at a significantly higher dose. And researchers and doctors just simply do not know the long-term effects. We're talking years down the road. And my last concern with Ozempic and Wigovi is that once you stop taking it, you will regain the weight. and. There's a lot of evidence to suggest that for many people, you will gain even more weight compared to what you weighed beforehand. So this yo-yo effect where you drastically change your weight, even like within a short period of time, has detrimental effects on your overall health and organs, especially your heart. So I know I've expressed some pretty hard opinions here and I wanna be sensitive. As a dietitian who for years has studied the science of food, nutrition, behavior, psychology, habits, metabolism. Trust me, I do understand the complex and overwhelming struggles that come with trying to lose weight, including serious stress, the feeling of hopelessness, the confusion about what it is you're doing that is wrong, and also just the pure desperation of wanting to look a certain way to feel better about yourself. And I am here today to tell you that there is hope and it may not be easy, and you may be at a different starting point than others, but you can achieve health, you can achieve the right body weight for you. And it starts with education 
and it's maintained by improving behaviors. So if you wanna talk to myself one-on-one -on -one or any of our incredible dietitians at Inc. Nutrition to find some more sustainable solutions, please reach out. Thank you so much for watching. You know, I really think that knowledge is power. And if I can just help a little bit, make you a bit of a more informed person, uh, then I think that's a success. So lastly, I just wanted to say this, that, you know, I am a dietitian. I'm not a doctor. Uh, everything that I said today is really general information. I'm not trying to diagnose anything. Uh, you know, speak to your provider if you are thinking about one of these medications to see if it's right for you. I really appreciate everybody following this channel. If you want me to talk about anything in the world of nutrition, drop it in the comments below. I will see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye. It's active compound, semaglutide, semaglutide. Acts as an appetite suppressant to send, acts as an appetite suppressant to send signals to your brain to tell you that you're hungry or to tell you that you're full.